And welcome to episode two or part two of our thousand dollars fifty thousand dollar flip challenge and as I mentioned in our previous video of uh, the car arriving to be a part out it didn't quite work out that way behind us is a 92 Mazda MX-5 which came to us under the pretense that it was it was essentially a write-off but we actually discovered that this car could be put back together again and sold off as a race car so Here's a video on basically how to flip your car in six hours. So we found the car on Facebook. It was through a friend of ours who bought the car with the intention of getting it up and running again. However, he did unfortunately discover some pretty bad rust which led him to the decision to deregister the car and attempt to part it out. Um, but life just kind of got in the way so he decided that instead of dealing with all that sort of mess, he would just sell it as a complete package which is where we came in. Um, we made a pretty reasonable offer which he was really happy to take so we brought the car back with us. Um, he was also really nice in the sense that he actually towed the vehicle here for us so all we really needed to do was pay the initial deposit on the car and inspect it when it arrived. And when it arrived the initial plan was to part it out um, but actually we had a look at it and the bodywork yeah, was pretty so good. Bad. Yeah, yeah. being expected, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you can probably see in the background it's had we got a new primer, but we didn't realize quite how nice it was seeing under layers of dust. But it's had a fresh paint job. Most of the bits were there. Some some things were removed. It had once upon a time. It had quite a nice hard top and a few bits of bobs. But mm -hmm. most of what was needed to put the car back together was in the car. So this car was deregistered um, due to rust. So they kind of thought it was irreparable. But actually, on closer inspection, it, it probably would have been repairable, yeah, but it would have been an expensive job. Yeah, so. There's the sills of cheese and there's holes in the doors and kind of normal MX-5 stuff, but having seen that it was deregistered for the fact that we actually inspected the car ourselves, that, you know, it's, it's pointless, it's worth being part of. Um, but actually, I think having a look at it, look at it on, on a hoist and understanding what damage was there, it's not something that we have the means to fix and it wouldn't be profitable for us to fix and still sell as a project. It, as a deregistered car, it just wouldn't be worth it. But it does mean, rather than parting out, um, you may probably get more profit parting out, but it makes it less worth the effort. You can end up getting most of your profit by giving it, putting it back together, cleaning it up, making it a nice car for someone, and being deregistered, it would, this will inevitably end up being probably a track car for the next guy that buys it. It was excellent as a track car. I mean, it's, mm. it's front engine, rear wheel drive, manual. Yeah. It's, it's everything you want in a car yeah. to take on the track and have yeah, a little I mean, bit of fun with. And there's such a huge base for MX-5. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and you stick a, stick a cage in it, and de depending on the rules, you may not have to go through all the rush repairs. You just slap a cage in, and it'll run and drive perfectly. I mean, even in, in the state we got it, it didn't start, but that ends up essentially being a battery and a few things missing, which you plug together, fire right up. Yeah. Yeah, there's really not much to talk about this car because yeah. it was pretty straightforward. Yeah. This was this was this is probably going to be the easiest fix and flip we're going to have in this little series. Well, that's the whole title of double your investment in six yeah, hours, right? Yeah, yeah, doubling your investment in six hours. I mean, we we did not expect this. As I said, we we seriously expected it was just going to be a tear down and part mm -hmm. out, and it was going to be one of those things where there would be an initial video of purchasing the car and arriving on the tow track and all the fun stuff, and then a few months later. Uh, a sort of video on the money on how much we made from the parts but instead it's it's all just going to be meshed into one video because it was all done within about 24 under 24 hours really it I was mean, it was about six hours from this, unloading yeah. <laughs> to actually working on it to finishing it to listing it up to somebody getting in touch and a deposit in the account yeah so, so. as it currently sits a deposit's been paid on the car um the new owner will be picking it up later so. this week so yeah it's 
It's so simple. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had the car dropped off. My friend was kind enough to drop by a tow truck, which made life much easier for us, obviously, with the car being deregistered. Um, then, so it came in a condition where it was it was mostly there, but the, you know a lot of parts were just connected. The seats were going to sit in the car, but not bolt to anything. The bonnet and the boot were off. The tail lights were out. Um, carpet's gone. A few bits of interior trim were sitting in the boot, and it, it came in a state where it was ready to be parted out. But it ended up that, as mentioned, we could really put it back together. It was worth just as much doing. Um, so yeah, we essentially just did that. We put the car back together and we tried to give it a clean up and um, it only took maybe two hours to throw the car together um, between us, which, you know, maybe if we messed with MX-5s more in the past, probably would have been a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, put, threw it all together, um, put a different battery in because the battery was dead, fired straight up, ran a bit rough because there's a few hoses disconnected, plugged everything back in, ran perfectly. Um, drove, gearbox feels great, everything runs and drives really well. Um, so yeah, we then gave it a tidy up, gave it a wash, gave it a clean down, and it looks, as you see it now, it looks actually really good, um, other than perhaps the crusty wheels. Um, and then, yeah, we, we just put it on Facebook, um, had it on for $1,800 on Facebook, gave it six hours, got offered $1,500 for the deposit, and done, job done. Yeah, so um, we paid $600 all up, um, put it all back together, listed it for $1,800, got an offer for $1,500, um, but we also got a few extra parts out of the deal. We've got some aftermarket headlights we've put up on uh, up for sale. We've got a set of good black cloth seats, and I think we also had some fog lights from the front or some indicator lights. Indicator yeah, lights and um, a couple of sway bars. Yeah, well. speed sway bars. A few other little bits and pieces, so that'll top up the profit a little bit. Yeah. Um, and figures, I suppose, will show up shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching <laughs> this very very brief episode. Um, Car number two ended up being incredibly brief, so yeah. we're not quite sure what's going to be next. We haven't found no, no what deal car number we haven't found what car number three could be. <laughs> There's a couple of cars that we've debated, perhaps, mm -hmm. but we haven't really gone much further than seeing a couple of potential deals on on trade and Facebook. So, yeah, I yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this very brief video. Um, following this clip, there'll be some footage of us assembling the car and wheeling it around, and <laughs> that's pretty much Push all there is to it. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how to make $900 in six hours. <laughs> Bad <Bet> stacks! <laughs> cool. Man, dollar dollar bills. You, 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 forgot, you forgot to use the keyword stack. The... Titties. Don't forget titties. Nah. Mad stacks. You, you forgot to Making like... it rain. Hey, dollar dollar You forgot to focus on the whole punchline, which I was boobs. making $900 in six hours. But that's the most clickbait titles. That was at the beginning. Oh, yeah, you oh, said that the very start. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, 900 bucks. bucks in six hours! Shut up, Steph. Oh, this one's going to be super short and sweet because, well, the assembly and flip was so simple. We purchased a car for $600. After reassembly, we found a buyer within six hours of being listed and he paid $1,500 for the car. All the spare parts are yet to be sold, so we won't be adding this to the final tally. However, we do expect an additional 100 to 200 bucks for these parts. This brings us to a total profit of $900, which divided by the three of us leads to $300 each of free money. Thank you all so much for your ongoing support. As a video has been released, we are currently organizing a tow truck to pick up the next car in our series. There's actually a bit of a funny story with that, as this is the third attempt. So stay tuned for the next installment in the coming days, and that's assuming the tow truck actually is successful this time. So yeah, thanks everyone, and see you all next time.